Over two years ago now, I created a video showcasing how to hide those annoying shortcut banners that show up on your iPhone if you're using custom icons on your home screen. But ever since iOS 17 came along, all of the previous workarounds stopped working. And even with earlier versions of iOS 18, there still wasn't a way to disable them. But the good news is that with a fairly recent iOS 18 update, and I don't know which one it was, so don't ask me, but Apple brought back the ability to hide shortcut notification banners. And the process for doing it is dead simple. As is tradition with these videos, I'm also gonna be showing you how to hide the dock with any device running iOS 18. But with that being said, let's dive in. All right, I'm actually gonna show you two methods for this, just in case either option breaks in the future in which case hopefully the other one will work and vice versa. But the first method is really, really simple. With the shortcuts app open, just open any of your open app shortcuts. So let's do this one for Safari, for example. And then all you're gonna do is search for the action nothing, select it, then drag it above the open app action. We'll then add it to our home screen as per usual. And I'm gonna select this custom icon that I prepared earlier. And by the way, if you're wondering how I made this custom icon or even what icon pack this icon is from, well, I made an entire video explaining exactly that, which I'll link up in the cards. Or if you just want the app and icon pack, then they'll be linked down in the description. But then with your custom icon created and on your home screen, that's it. You can now open that shortcut. And if this is your very first time doing this, you may see a little banner that asks you to allow the shortcut to run, which you just wanna to tap to allow. But then after that, you can then open your custom icons as much as you like. And yes, the open and close animation isn't quite the same as without this workaround implemented, but it's not bad either. There's also virtually no delay when launching your app shortcuts. And it's so much better than seeing that pesky shortcut banner every time you launch an app. So that's the easy way to do it, but who knows, that could stop working in the future. So just in case, here's a weird backup way to do it instead. So within the shortcuts app again, tap the plus icon to create a new shortcut. Then we're gonna search for an action called text and add it like so. Then we'll search for the open app action and also add it like so. Then in our text field up here, we simply wanna type the name of whichever app we wanna launch. So let's do the books app, for example. Then we're actually gonna long press here where it says app, and select the text variable down here. And who knows why this works, but when we add it to our home screen using the usual method and then go ahead and launch that shortcut, as you can see, no shortcut banners. So fingers crossed, at least one of these workarounds works indefinitely so that those of us with notched iPhones can continue using custom icons without seeing those silly banners. And so then we come to hiding our dock. And the good news is that as of the iOS 18 update, the same method that we've used for years still works. But for those who don't know, hiding the dock simply comes down to using a specially designed wallpaper that blends into that area. And the good thing is that because this workaround has existed for several years now, there are a stack of wallpapers that you can find via a simple Google search that will let you hide the dock. And I've actually created a bucket load of my own wallpaper packs that also hide the dock over the years, which I'll link down below. But if you're someone who prefers having a few more options, then might I encourage you to check out my own iOS wallpaper app called Lumina Walls, which actually has a dedicated hide the dock section filled with over 60 unique wallpapers at the time of making this video, all of which, as I said, will hide the dock on iOS 18. Now I stipulate iOS 18 because at the time making this video, that's the latest software that they've been tested with. And normally I wouldn't even bother mentioning this, but I have been seeing a few leaks of iOS 19 lately, some of which seem to indicate that the dock might actually be getting a redesign. And if that's the case, then not only will any wallpaper I've ever designed to hide the dock over the past four or five years stop working, but I don't think that there'll actually be any workaround to hide the dock anymore unless Apple implements a way for us to do it natively. Anyhow, for the time being, I'm gonna ignore that and pretend that the dock isn't getting a redesign and fingers crossed it doesn't get redesigned. But as I said, all of the wallpapers in this collection within Lumina Walls, they do hide the dock with iOS 18. And essentially any wallpaper that has a whitish section at the bottom, like this one here, that'll hide the dock when you have your system dark theme disabled. And any wallpaper that has a dark grayish section at the bottom, that'll hide the dock when your system dark theme is enabled. So just keep that in mind. So for example, let's go ahead and download this wallpaper here called Hide the Dock 28, which I'll use for when my dark theme is enabled. And this one here called Hide the Dock 25, which I'll use when my system light theme is enabled. Then I'm gonna come to my lock screen here, long press, then tap the blue plus icon. Then I'll tap photos and select my recently saved light wallpaper. I'll tap add, then customize home screen. Then I'll just tap to disable this blur option and tap on done. 
Then I'll long press and remove any apps from my dock. And with that done, as you can see, my dock has been successfully hidden. And just to show you this working with the dark theme as well, I'll come to my lock screen, again, long press, tap the blue plus button, tap on photos, select our dark wallpaper this time and tap on add. We'll tap customize home screen and again, uncheck this blur option here. We'll tap done, then swipe to unlock. And all we need to do is come into our control center and enable the system dark theme like so. And there we go, our dock has also been hidden now with the dark theme activated. And if you wanna know how to set things up so that your wallpapers and system theme changes automatically, either at the press of a button or depending on the time of day, then make sure you check out that recent iOS setup video because it explains how to do that in detail. But there you have it. That is how you can hide shortcut banners and make your dock invisible on iOS 18. If you found this video helpful, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.